we're doing a video about people's crazy dreams. What's the craziest dream you've ever had? I have a lot of really crazy dreams. So tell us some. Um, I had this dream that this giant astral space train thing kind of just flew over Brampton and was shooting people with silver laser beams. And then the people would turn to dust and at the same time the clouds were like lava. There was like a sheep that was like constantly chasing me with like red eyes like and it was like beaming at me and like I would constantly try to run away from it. It was like a lion that killed like a lot of people. And it was like a bunch of like zoo animals like like raging over like humans. They had guns, like machine guns, you lying. <laughs> oh my gosh. I drummed dragons one time and they were laughing at me. I always have these dreams when I'm golfing but I can never actually get to swing. Like I'm, there's always something in the way or something to distract me or whatever. Like I'm not even on a golf course anymore. I'm in the middle of downtown or something and I always wake up and it's incredibly frustrating. Do you ever like win in your no, dreams? No, never. <laughs> Do you ever win in real life? I think I have a crazy dream about my neighbor. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> that we're tearing down the wall between us and we're moving in together. We so, are? <laughs> Well, you, you do the housework <laughs> and the cooking. Okay, and you do the bartending. Oh, all right, that's okay, easy. That's you know, you just keep falling, 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 falling. Never end, never end at the bottom. It's combined with driving down a very steep hill. It scares the hell out of you. Was your car falling or was it actually driving down the hill? Like in your dream, was it falling or driving? No, it's driving. Okay. I mean, I'm driving it. It's actually kind of fun, you know, you get a little wheezy and... You get to wake up and it's fine. And then you go pee. <laughs> Walking down the sidewalk and I fell backwards and I just kept falling like through the ground. At first it was scary, but now I'm just like, oh yeah, I'm having this dream again. If you know you're dreaming, you tell yourself like rub your hands together like this or something like that and then you can like start controlling it. Really? Yeah, it's, some, it's something weird like that. Hmm, interesting. I was dying of an illness and it was my father's duty to put me out of my misery and he had to kill me by biting my neck. And it was like this whole family ritual and everyone was there to watch. And I was really upset because my boyfriend wasn't there and he was working at a grocery store. And I woke up very upset and emotional about the whole situation. Did you tell your dad? No, actually I haven't told him yet, but I've been meaning to. Just so waiting for the right moment, you know. <laughs> spring it on him. Yes, by the way, father, you have to kill me. And then there's this guy who's like longboarding off of a roof onto another skateboard. And then he broke both of them and then gave me both of his longboards. And then there was like this girl in my program and like her sisters or something and we were all having like a thing and it was just... Somebody asked me to go down the street and pick something up yet in the course of doing that my car gets hijacked or somebody steals my keys or the store blows up but it ends up being I wake up super super frustrated because it's something so easy that just becomes so challenging. I get engaged and then the wedding prep, I turn into a bridezilla and everything goes into chaos and I eventually don't get married in the end. Going down the Walt Disney World roller coaster and then I thought the train just basically went off the tracks and went flying to the moon and I was just like, oh shit, I'm on the moon. So I thought my head was gonna blow because there's no um, oxygen or nothing. And then this big like giant beast comes and just like, hey, give me three wishes. I'm like, all three of my wishes, I wanna go back to Earth. So I ended up back on Earth, I wake up out of my bed. I'm like, oh shit. I was riding this horse then all of a sudden I felt like drinking blood, some crazy ass demons, and then I just started slicing people's heads and just listening to a lot of rock music. My grandma took me to an amusement park where Barney was there and we had to cross like a giant canyon and there was a single plank of wood that made us go from one end to the other. And my ex-girlfriend was riding around with her ex-boyfriend while I was dating her and I had like a weird dream, like a sixth sense, and then when I saw her in person, it was true. Like I saw her the next day with her ex-boyfriend. It was true, she was cheating on me with her ex-boyfriend. Crazy dream, right? You had like a Came cheating a premonition? Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Drake, I hope you don't see this, but I had a dream that I was married to you and it was beautiful. <laughs> and I was really happy. <laughs> and I went to all the Raptors games and I sat in the front row. <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> Do you have like beautiful babies? Oh, we didn't have babies yet. We weren't at that point. <laughs> I didn't get there. I, I woke up. <laughs> that would have been the nightmare part. Yeah. Right? The people that believe that dreams are also visions of your future in a sense, and they actually do happen. Like for a lot of people, law of attraction. If you believe in something so hard, long enough and hard enough, eventually it comes true. That's how life is. If it's you, true. If you apply yourself to law of attraction, things will work out like that. So if you dream about being with someone, you dream about leaving in a location, eventually you might end up there and not even realize it and have deja vu and be wondering why I had deja vu. Well, now I had deja vu because I had a dream come true.